Hello, War of the Visions newbies. This is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video about whether or not it's smart to use gill summons to try and speed up slow building. I even had my friend, who has over 100 URs over level 99, do some gill summoning so that I can get a rough estimate of how many soul medals you can snag on a more advanced account. More on that later. Let's start with my early game account. I only have 33 URs over level 99, and my MR game is just pitiful with 14 units over 99. My main objective is just shards. I have around a dozen URs and MRs that I really want to level up, and I'm curious to see how much closer I am after dropping a cool 1 billion gil. Gil Summons doesn't have any off-banner limited characters, which is fine by me, because I'm trying to focus on older UR units like Charlotte, Mashari, Luartha, Lucia, Ayaka, and Elsarel. The only 100 cost unit I'm looking at is Amnelis, but I don't expect much traction there. For MR units, I'm currently working on Margaret, Chell, Ravies, Ramada, Kuri, and Fina. I have around 24 UR vision cards maxed out, and some cards I'm trying to get shards for are Carbuncle, Bahamut, Ramu, and Frederica's Dream. I'm also curious how many of these other resources I pick up here, like large EXP cubes and adamantite. Let's dive into it. I start doing gill summons and set up a macro on repeat. Honestly, one billion gill is more or less gone in like 30 minutes. Let's see what we get. For the URs I'm going for here are my results. You can see that I got pretty lucky with Charlotte and Elsarel, but was less so with Lucia. Amnelis is my cost 100 and she got four shards, but I feel like she was fortunate because I didn't see many other 100 costs getting that many. Looking around the other UR gains, on average, I think you can expect around five shards for a specific UR character per one billion gil. If that UR is cost 100, maybe closer to three shards. For the MRs I'm going for, this is what I'm seeing. Fina was on the high end with 44 and Chell was on the low end with 35. On average, I think you can expect close to 40 shards for a specific MR character per billion gil. For vision cards, it was very similar to the averages I got for the UR units. For resources, stuff like large adamantite, experience cubes and turtles, these all came in at roughly 80 each, give or take for one billion gil. Nothing worth writing home about. As far as medals go, I got 139 UR soul medals, 549 MR soul medals, and 69 UR vision medals. So now let's talk about my friend's account with over 100 URs past level 99. I am curious to see what kind of movement an account like his gets specifically with UR soul medals and UR vision medals. After 1 billion gil spent, he said he gained 383 UR soul medals and 333 UR vision medals. Is it worth it for early game accounts to do these summons? What about late game accounts? I would say yes to both. I think this is excellent value for your extra gill. Notice that I said extra gill because you should only be doing this if you've got gill to spare. The main benefit for early gamers is the MR shards, which is about 40 per unit per session. I think doing this every week after farming gill all weekend will get your selection quest teams up and running very quickly, pushing your account further without needing to spend any viz. For late gamers, the extra soul and vision medals will help you scoop up more reincarnation and elder awakening materials. The only downside I see is that on non-buffed weekends, you barely make 150 million, so doing 1 billion gill summons every week will be a bit tough. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments below. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone.